If you're buying a sewing machine for the very first time, you'll have had a look around and you will find an absolute minefield. So let me make it a little bit more simple for you. There are basically two differences with the types of sewing machine that you can buy. There's electronic and there's computerized. The first thing you'll notice of the difference is the price. Computerized machines tend to be a little bit more expensive, but there again, they are more comprehensive and they're a little bit more advanced. The basic differences are with a mechanical or uh, electronic sewing machine, you will choose your stitches by turning a dial. No buttons to press, you simply choose the stitch on a dial. You'll find a lesser number of stitches on an electronic machine simply because of the mechanics and what it can actually cope with inside. You'll find lots of different feet with many, many different sewing machines and lots of different speeds. A computerized machine tends to be a little bit quicker than the one that you see here. Um, very, very simple to use and simple instructions on how to use the machine as well. Do have a look in the manuals for each one of the machines when you buy them. With an electronic machine, the majority of those machines will have a one-step buttonhole. It won't measure the size of your buttonhole and it'll be one style of buttonhole. And when you stop sewing, the needle will stop in the position when you take your foot off the pedal It'll either be up, down, or halfway. So before you take your fabric out, you will need to wind the hand wheel towards you to make sure that the needle's in the uppermost position, else you're not going to be able to pull your thread through. With the computerized machine, that problem is addressed because you'll find that the needle with automatic to stop in the up position. With a lot of the machines, they'll have a button where you can choose whether it stops up or whether it stops down. And that can be really important if you're a quilter or a patchworker, or if you're pivoting around corners and you always want the needle to stop down so you carry on stitching from the same place that you started. Usually with a computerized machine, you'll find an awful lot more stitches, more decorative stitches, utility stitches, heirloom stitches. There's more choice generally with a computerized machine and the buttonholes on these and I will show you these in a later video are more comprehensive so different styles different designs and the majority of computerized machines those will be one step so you can you don't have to measure the size of your button the machine can do that for you you'll find with the computerized machine they can be a lot smoother and although the machine that I have here which is the Singer Brilliance works with a foot pedal depending on the cost and the amount of features you go for a lot of the computerized machines will work without a foot pedal You'll find a start-stop button on the front of the machine and there'll be a speed control on there as well. So have a think about what you want from your sewing machine, what kind of projects are you going to sew, what kind of budget can you go up to. For me, if you can stretch to a computerized machine, even as a complete beginner, I would recommend you go computerized over electronic because you have more opportunity, there's more stitches, and actually they're a lot easier to work than the electronic machines. Nothing wrong with those, but given a choice, I'd certainly go for this one. Now, have a look at other videos on the site and I will be taking you through in more details the features of each of them.